Good morning! How's it going? Right then, today, it is Sunday, the 29th of August. We're, uh, we're at Tracy's Pick today. Tracy's Pick. I actually pointed in the right direction, by the way, but never mind. Tracy's Pick today. Uh, Maple Leaf Magnet Fishing. Everybody knows Tracy. So anyway, Northwest Magnet Crew again. You know the ones. There's the videos. Get them up there. Our team. Northwest crew. All day. Right then. We're in Wigan in Ince in Makerfield. Uh, and we're on the Leeds Liverpool Canal uh, that runs all the way through Wigan. <clears throat> Absolutely cracking place. This place has got lock after lock after lock. There must be at least 11, 12 locks round here. All within half a mile of each other, just loads of locks, it's, it's going to be a great day today, a, uh, Sunday the 29th of August as I've just said, and uh, the week after the big collaboration that we had, everybody that turned up, brilliant, amazing, we had an absolutely cracking time uh, with the Outcast family who organised it all, brilliant, big shout out to Nigel, Steve, Rusty Nuts and Marie and Glenn, Peaky Dippers, absolutely amazing and you can't forget Rob as well uh, Rob worked like a trooper he really did absolutely pulled all all the scrap out he was up and down that toll path all day big shout out to Rob mate brilliant scrappers and dippers all day right then let's get on with it let's get the magnets in start off with the beast and just keep going the area is brilliant it really is we're gonna have an amazing day today Tracy's been here for about an hour already and she must have about half a ton of scrap already. Seriously, she's, she's, she's raking it out, raking it out. Up to now, uh, we've got Sophie Magnetic Bull, he's here. And Ashley, AJ Magnet Fishing, he's here as well. I'm here. The rest of the crew will be here in a while. Let's get on with it. Brilliant. There he is, the beast. 500 kilo double-sided clamp magnet from online magnets online magnets and there is the beast all the stats the website where you can find it the phone number where you can find it express literally you can get one of these within three days of buying it on the uh, online magnets uh, website seriously absolutely amazing uh, service you'll get from them miles thank you very much for the stickers for me van again the van's getting more and more stickers on now, people. So, anybody got any stickers? Get them sent to me and I'll put them on my van all day. Right then, first three live chucks. Let's see what we get. Also, now, just turned up. We'll give you a little pan round. You've got the Bates Motel. There he is. There's Michelle. You've got their little vehicle over there, Tim's at the back there waving away, you've got Billy Bong and you've got Suzanne and then obviously at the side of me here you've got Tracy, she's right on this little lock here Tracy and then in, in the far distance is where you've got uh, AJ and uh, Sophie's over there as well. They're on lock number 80 uh, and then behind me down that way, all the way down there, you've also got lock 81. Like I said, loads of locks. Alistair's here as well now, the Welsh magnet fishing uh, group. I said Wells, but he's not from Wales really, but never mind. But he's got his little daughter with him as well, so uh, let's, have a, let's get it on. Okay, first chuck, absolutely loads and loads of rubbish here. Uh, oh yeah, all little bits and pieces, a few nails, a couple of tins. Yeah, loads of stuff here, little bits of wiring as well. Marvellous. Chuck number two. OK, 
again plenty plenty bits and pieces there little bits of metal uh, rusty bits some magnetic rocks a couple of bottle tops a couple of nails I think we're going to be finding loads around here today Okay, chuck number three, a couple, uh, couple of bars, little small bars. It's like an old, uh, an old bolt, bad luck of it. Some kind of spring of something. Again, plenty tins, a couple, couple of tins are coming out already. Some bits and pieces. Uh, some roofing, roofing screws, quite a few of these little roofing screws we've got as well, uh, if you can see them or not on there, quite a few of them. So yeah, so that's uh, three chucks, uh, as soon as I find anything uh, worth putting on, I'll bang the uh, camera back on then, right then. Okay, so uh, these little things here, they're for putting on, I don't know if ever you've seen them or not, but when you buy products from uh, the shops or whatever, sometimes they have like a plastic banding that goes all the way around it, a very thin band, and then they're held on by a little metal clip. Well, these little things here actually are what uh, puts the clip on. Just give it a little tap. There we go, don't know if you can see that now at the top there, it's got like a little pair of pincers at the top and that's what clips the, the clips together on the banded, so uh, that's a nice little find, they're fairly old, they have got some words on them there as well, uh, not sure what it says yet, I'll give them a clean up later and we'll uh, we'll have a look at them, but yeah, that's what that is, the banding, banding equipment, first spoon of the day, that has been in there a long time that, really corroded. But it'll clean up, it's got a nice little pattern on the uh, on the side of it there, like a little leaf of some kind. That's nice. Got a little pattern there, don't know if you can see, so not in the sun. Not sure. Uh, no, I don't know. If you can't see it, unlucky! Go on, girl! First coin, two pence piece. Also now arrived is Tore of the Slap Clan, and also, she's behind there, yeah, look, say, there she is, hi! Hello! There we go, and also, Dan's here as well, DS Magnet Fishing, over in the background, with his little wheelie bin, and bin, so, uh, whoop, a few of us here now, lovely, so like I say, first coin, two pence piece, and also, on the same magnet, uh, the same chuck, I also got these two pieces of metal as well, We had a nice little bar there, little metal bar. And also this uh, this strip of metal here, not a clue what it's off. I don't know what it is, to be honest with you. But uh, nice, nice long piece there. We'll get that over where the scrap pile is already, and then we don't have to keep uh, moving stuff later on. Enjoy it. Right then, so, also, uh, today, the scrap man, Mally Burrows, he is on the Scrappers and Dippers uh, website that Rob's got, uh, he's going to come later on again, and it's the same guy who came and did the coin challenge that I did in St. Helens a while ago, uh, they'll take absolutely everything, so Mally's booked in for later on, thank you very much Mally, give it a nice big shout out there mate, you always turn up on time and you always leave the place absolutely clean and um, they got, get the brushes out and everything they're amazing cracking lads anybody needs them round in the northwest area get on the uh, the number in fact i'll put the number here the number's there malboro's any scrap metal you need moving 
just give them a belt. They'll move it for you straight away. Right then, let's get on. Part of a fencing, as you can see there. Yeah. Little six foot fencing, a little spike at the top there. Oh, and there's some fishing line wrapped around it as well. Like a little uh, fishing weight on the end of it as well. Really nice. That'll, uh, that'll get put to some use. Brilliant. So we've got another pole, this one. A good, uh, I'd say that's about seven foot, that one. Easy. Got a little connector on the end there. It's got a little connector on the end of there with some fishing line on it as well. Got uh, some kind of propane or cylinder of some kind there. The blue one. Uh, I don't know if it's not sure what, what it used to hold. Cap at the top there. Nice little cylinder. Not a clue. It's got a little little bracket on the back of it there as well. What it used to slide onto. So I'm not sure what it used to uh, what it used to contain. Like we've got a, a fisherman's chair there. It's uh, a little bit, a little bit broke, a little bit ripped. Otherwise, that could have been used again. That it's got a like, nice little. Uh, what's that say? Got some words on it at the back. Nice little pillar at the top there as well. So it's a shame that if that wasn't uh, if that wasn't ripped down the middle there. Hey, oh, we'd be right. That uh, that could have been reused. That, but never mind. That's out of the water. So my first thought when it came up was an umbrella. But it's not. It's actually uh, off like a walking frame for some people who are slightly elderly. You know, and they, they travel along with it. Travel up. That's what it is. With the little brackets on there. So just add that on, me, on the chuck with the magnet. The 500 kilo again. The beast. I had that, and also, I've just had a couple of little keys as well. What's up, the elderly? Yeah, Alan. For Alan. Yeah, a nice uh, a little key fob there. I think there's an actual picture inside that there, I'm not sure. So I've got a little, little key fob and a little key on the side as well. And also, a door key. A chub, chub key. Chub lock key. Bad look of it. Little key there as well. Nice. Part of an old rake, as you can see there. That's come out, just the top piece of the rake. That's been in there ages, that absolutely corroded so well, that thing. You know something, I've just realised something, right? That old saying, a thorn between two roses. I've got Tracy here on this side of me, having a minute. And then the other side of me here now, Stingray, we could have bent over there. Hey up. I've got Susan one side of me and Tracy the other. Two roses and the thorn stuck in the middle. How good's that? A tin shaped like a gingerbread man. Now I'm sure that's what it used to be. A gingerbread tin for gingerbread men. If you look at it, look at that. Absolutely battered, full of holes, been in there years and years. That's what I'm going for anyway, a gingerbread man tin. And then on the other side of the magnet, I've got this strange item, I'm not sure what it is. But uh, it's like a, a little thing there with dice in it. And it's, it looks like some kind of pipe. Hello, Paul. Do you smoke? No, I don't smoke. Look at that, a little, da -da 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 -da, little pipe for the old wacky backy, that's what that is, dodgy. A three tin catch you've just had then, got some spam for all you American people. This is what we had at school when we were a kid, spam, brown sauce and spam on bread. That was that was your dinner, that was. So that's nice, nice one there. There's another one on the edge of that one and another tin on the end of that one there. How good's that? And also, right, again, it, it, we get more and more turning up now. So we've also got April, hi. 
Then we've got Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Look at Michelle's shoes. I don't know if you can see them there in the background, but she's got like little gold things on the back of the shoes there. Look at that. <laughs> if they're not from a market, I don't know what are. I'm selling you. They're definitely two quid. Windsor's. Windsor's shoes. Windsor's world of shoes. And then we've also got big Andrew there. Look at him. He's, he's, he's a giant. He's a giant of a man. And then over there with Tracy, the boys have arrived now. Magnet and Steel RJ. They're here as well. So we've actually got, I'd say now, the full crew. Full crew are here. Marvellous. Right. Let's get on. Hehe. <laughs> look at that. I'm happy with that. That's a proper, really old lampshade that you find in really old people's houses. When they used to, you used to have these in people's houses on a on a little stand with a little bulb in the middle, and it had like a little nice little thing going all the way with little frilly bits coming down at the bottom there, like a little net. Right, I tell you what, it's been in there a while, hasn't it? Yeah. Okie koki pig in a poker. Here we go. Right, we're going in now with the drag queen. You know the one. She's there. Marvellous. Again, online magnets. 700 kilo double sided magnet. 1,400 kilograms. She'll pick up. Absolutely love her. Okay, let's have three quick chucks with this. All the same places where I've just been throwing the, uh, the, the beast. I've, I've had about nearly two hours with the beast now so time to get the other one out now and let's see if we can pick anything up with this I'm definitely have to go and get some longer roll I'm about two meters short off the bar bank in there and I really want to try and get right over if I can so I might start in there get myself some new rope I think First chuck, first chuck. We've had absolutely loads and loads of them roofing things again. Look at all of that there. That she's got out exactly the same spot where I've just been throwing the 500. So uh, we've got a load of little roofing bits and pieces there now. Hello. Hello. Oh, nice. Get the up. Right, I'm going to have to cut this short for a second because Tracer has just picked up something massive there in the water and we need to get the grappling hook out, so I'll be back in two minutes. Chuck number two, more rust, more little bits of metal, nothing interesting whatsoever. One little bolt at the side there, an old square pin, by the look of it. Really rotted though, really rotted. I tell a lie. I've got a penny on the end as well. Marvellous. Number three, plenty tins again. Look at all them tins. Absolutely loads of them. All broken up tins. So, uh, other than that, nothing at all besides the tins on that chug. Or is that another coin? No. Yeah, just all, just all bits of rusty tins again. Now got to empty my bucket because it's absolutely rammed with tins and fishing line and all sorts of absolute rubbish. So, as you can see down there, my bin, my little black bin is absolutely full. I've got a nice big rubble sack at the back and we're going to uh, get rid of that, empty it and get it refilled. Well, I think this is me, me second Yankee screwdriver that I've ever had out. This one's quite a newish one though, because it's got a plastic handle on. Uh, little Yankee thing, just forwards and backwards there. But this is probably my second one that I've had. Uh, I had a Stanley one a while ago, but this is definitely not a Stanley uh, Yankee screwdriver. You can tell by the way it's made. But yeah, as you can see, 
little Yankee screwdriver. That bit goes up and down as you as you're screwing it in and out. So uh, yeah, that's not bad. Actually, AJ Magnet Fishing is on his way home now. He's off to, uh, the off to Boozer. Yeah. So we might see him tomorrow. We might be out again tomorrow. Have another go. We, we don't know yet, do we? We'll see how it is. We'll see how we we'll get out today. I'll but, be out. Right, so, so AJ's off home now actually to see his beloved and go out on the Raz, having a few beers in the old day. Restaurant. Can't, can't do that, I'm driving. Oh, you're driving? Oh, yeah. never mind, never mind. I'll go free stuff, that's what I want. Right then, so Ashley's away. That's one down. Uh, and a lot more to go, right, in a minute. So we've now moved from lock number eight, eh, which was down that way, where little Billy's walking off now, Bates Motel, and uh, we've now come over to this side, and we're going to do this lock here, which is lock 81. Uh, I'm just going to start on this side here, where this overflow is on the other side of the, the canal, and give this a little scout around here, and uh, we'll see what, uh, what this provides. Have a little move around a tiny bit today. Do a couple of spots. Right then, everything's out, all my buckets. We're going straight in with the drag queen, no messing about, game on. First throw with the drag queen, and I've got myself something off the top of a, a cooker. By the look of it, sits on top, pots on top of that, saucepans, frying pan, you know the one. First chuck. I don't know if it's right this or not. Let me move the camera this way a tiny bit because I think the sun might be a little bit on, on the wrong side. But uh, just add this little lighter. It's got an eagle on the front. Uh, only just stuck to the magnet, I'll be honest with you. Only just stayed on. So I'm not sure what material it's made of. But uh, it's got an eagle and it says eagle underneath it. But it's one of them ones where it doesn't go out in the wind. You know, it's one of them, you, you click it down the button there and it's like, it's like a flamethrower that comes out of that little nozzle there. So, I like that, that's a nice little find. That's, uh, that's nice. Do you know something, I'm getting some deja vu moments, I am, I'm not, I kid you not. A pair of mole grips, a stump peg. Now, I could have swore a few weeks back, within a couple of minutes, I had some mole grips and a stump peg. I could have swore, I, my mind's playing games on me, and I'm sure I have in one of my other videos. But anyway, mole grips, stump peg off a of BMX. Mental. Another little fishing lure with a little wiggly tail. Trevor Luke's quite broke on it though. There's only two instead of three. But yeah, that can be uh, that can be fixed. No problem at all. Small little locking knife, completely rusted. That won't work again at all. Another fishing lure stroke spoon with the uh, the eye. Oh, he did have an eye at one end, so I've just rubbed it off. But yeah, that's still got a nice treble hook on it as well. One very bent screwdriver. One, not sure what it is at all. Don't know what that is. Not a clue. Looks like a screwdriver type thing, but there's nothing at that end. Unless it's. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, sorry, it's a Phillips. It's a little Phillips screwdriver at the end. Probably something for uh, fixing your glasses, maybe. One brake cable. Sparkle, it's called. Sparkle brake cable. Got a, a BMX frame here that's just come out. Absolutely been stripped down, there's nothing else left of it. Uh, made in Taiwan, so it's not gonna be a, a very good name. It's not gonna be a good make. Uh, high tensile steel construction, that's all it says. Pretty heavy, to be honest with you. So I don't think it's a, a well-named BMX, to be honest with you. But yeah, that's if it is a BMX. Could be a mountain bike, I don't know, but looks like a BMX to me. Not sure if it's worth anything or not, to be honest with you. It's an Orlando Quartz watch. Uh, don't know what, if it's if it's valuable or not in any kind, but uh, it's got no 
no clips on each side there it's missing the, the clasp but uh, yeah, the, the face looks okay on it but I mean a quartz I don't think quartz is very very special is it really it's got three little buttons on the side three three little buttons there for some reason so it's all right isn't it it's like it's a, a Dunlop golf club really old one uh, on the end there it says uh, golf pride made in the USA so really old bit gone don't think we're gonna be able to fix that at all the uh, the face is, is pretty gone there so uh, we've just had that as well lovely another little combi knife uh, stainless steel one solid one this one is it's got one two three or five little implements on it on that one there would like to have a little look Dan Dan's come to have a look there we go Dan let's have a little look at that mate like the screen's kind of it does after a couple of seconds mate no it's it's how out there yeah. we'll have a little look at that one mate Dan oh god <laughs> dropped it Dan, Dan loves little knives as well look at that He's no it's a pen knife I'm not interested in a pen knife He's made up with that and they've got little blades on Paul's used to little stuff just little blades yeah <laughs> only like little blades Parts of a shopping trolley. Yeah. Oh. Right, get on that side. We can tuck this over for us. Stuck on the side here. Is it stuck on solid? Can we just have a little tug first, see if we can. A little fishing lure. Marvellous. What we got? A few more people are leaving now. So, Big Dan, you're leaving. Uh, yeah, somebody's camera's there, but it doesn't matter. There we go. Right. Alistair. Girls, they're going. I've moved that just, so, just in case you can't see me. Just stood behind that. You know, you was proper camouflaged, didn't you? You're not going. You're, you're off as well now, aren't you? Yeah, you're going down there as well. Yeah, so. Alan's been doing the rounds again with the trolley, picking up all the scrap metal. And Cracking lad. <laughs> Cracking lad. Oh no! What's going on there? Oh no! Oh! Everybody knows who this is here. This is Ryan's beautiful girlfriend, Ella. Beautiful girlfriend. Just thought I'd come over near the locks. Most people have gone now. The boys are still over there on the other side. Magnet and Steel. They're doing the uh, the TikTok thing, TikTok, whatever it is. I just threw in with the drag queen where They've been throwing all day. The drag queen's got out. Bike brain, BMX. In bits, it's in bits, but carry on. Oh, I also found this as well. An old shovel. I got out as well, near the locks. Now the scrap man has already been and gone, so that's going to have to go in the back of my van but we are coming back tomorrow so wherever we go to tomorrow I'll drop that in the spot where we're getting all the scrap picked up all done and dusted then isn't it we don't leave no rubbish lying around it's the way it should be right I'll carry on here now see if I find anything else I'll bang it back on right then okay then right so it's game over now uh, we've been here all day now we've had a cracking day everybody's about to go now there's only myself magnet and steel left now so uh, we've had a good few hours and uh, it's time now to to be off but look out for part two we're going to be coming back again tomorrow uh, further down where the locks are and we'll we'll try down there and see what happens right then so as normal i just want to know, thank you everybody for watching today and uh, you know the score leave your comments if you don't mind press the subscription thing ring the bell all of that lot and I shall see you all tomorrow. Take it easy.